Hey guys, Silver here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Mega Bracelet from Takara Tomi, otherwise known as the Mega Bangle in Japan. And this is a counterpart to the Mega Ring that was released from Tomi earlier, which I have a review of, and I will leave an annotation over here if you did not see that previously. But these are very similar to each other. They are they both are meant to work with Japanese treadle machines, which I will explain a little bit about more if you are unaware of what those are, but this is just the basic set I have here. There was a more, uh, there was a larger set that actually came with a couple Metagross figures and a Metagross uh, Megastone, but I just decided to pick up the basic set here, and all this comes with is the Mega Bracelet itself and a Metagross, a shiny Metagross Treta piece. So, uh, just looking at the packaging here, it's very uh, standard. I will zoom in a little bit. So the Treta machines are just essentially arcade machines where you can win some of these pieces and uh, just battle. It's just a, a battle simulation essentially. You can see the Mega Ring here, Mega Blaziken with the stone, and uh, yeah, just it's it's a neat system. I don't think these will ever get released though in the states or anywhere else because these machines simply don't exist here. So that's a bit of a bummer, but you can see the way the Mega Stone fits on top. And uh, that's about it for the packaging. Very simple, but I think it works here. So I will go ahead and open this now. So even the Mega Bracelet itself is kind of sealed into this cardboard here, which even then has extra tape on it. There we go, got that all out there. That, the, this packaging was very annoying to get out. There was no reason for it to be taped in like that. But now that that's out of the way, here is our Mega Bracelet. And it is very, very similar to the Mega Ring, obviously, in that the same, the very similar plastic is used. And okay, it's already making noise that actually scared me. Anyway, the Mega Bracelet here is made of cheap hollow plastic and it has a band inside so you can wear it on your wrist or at least attempt to wear it. So let's see if I can fit my hand through here. So I actually had to cut there to get this on my hand because it was just not cooperating. And I believe if I leave it on any longer than I am, it will cut off my circulation. This is not meant for adults. It is meant for children. So uh, if you are an adult, I wouldn't even attempt to try it. It's, this is too much. So I am going to take this off now. Okay, so after a little bit there, I was finally able to get it off my wrist. It did not get stuck or anything. It was just a little bit of a hassle to pull off, thankfully. I would have been really mad if it got stuck, but it did not. It was all good, so moving on here. And so this one didn't come with a Mega Stone, but I still have the Mega Blaziken uh, Stone, so I will connect it here so you guys can see what a stone looks like on it, and it will make more noise. There we go. So you can see a little light comes through the Mega Stone uh, as they are transparent, and then you can see the light on the inside here. So it is a neat little children's accessory. I imagine though, if I was a parent, this would drive me insane. <laughs> uh, just, I can't believe this one makes noise without even having the Mega Stone in it. The sensor on the Mega Bracelet here is way more prevalent than it was on the Mega Ring. It will activate even if you just swipe your hand over it. So that's a bit unfortunate. I won't be wearing this. I think I'll just have it on a bookshelf, so hopefully it won't be making any noise there. But let's move on to comparisons between the Mega Bracelet and the Mega Ring. So here we have the two Mega accessories together. And uh, I think the Mega Bracelet's a little bit nicer, I think. Uh, it's not as hollow and uh, cheap feeling as the Mega Ring, but they are still made of very cheap plastic. They both are, but this one has a little more weight to it, feels a little better, and I think it has a better design than the Mega Ring. 
I'd really like to see Tommy or anyone really come up with, uh, you know, some nice a jewelry line for adults. Or even, you know, some of the other mega accessories like uh, Maxie's glasses or Steven's pin. That would be really neat. But for now, there's just these two children's accessories. So these would be really nice if you are a cosplayer. Of course, if you think these would fit. Very inexpensive there. You wouldn't have to have a lot of effort uh, just to buy these, especially since they are so inexpensive. As I said, I paid around 8 bucks for this, and the Metagross version was, is, was around uh, 20 bucks. So if you want to get the full Metagross set, you can, uh, can get it on uh, Hobby Link Japan, which is where I got it. And very quickly here, let's take a look at the Tretacoin. Treta piece, Tretacoin, what exactly would you call these? But uh, just a very thin little uh, plastic piece here with some stickers on it. You can see the Mega Evolution symbol there. And of course, this is the shiny version. And on the back, it has where its stats are located along with its attack, which is Meteor Mash. Here it is next to the Blaziken Tretta piece. So the Megas from the Tomy set seem to be this bright uh, traffic cone orange color, which really makes them stand out. They both look pretty good together. I don't collect these or anything, but uh, I almost want to now. I have a little tiny collection of them going. Those, but those are pretty neat. Nice uh, free accessory there. So yeah, I would recommend this if you are really into the Mega Evolution thing or if you're a cosplayer and you think this would fit. I think this, this would be a great thing for people like that. Or, you know, if you have access, if you live in Japan and you have access to the Treta machine, this of course would be really fun to use. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will definitely be getting any Mega Evolution things like this that Tomi releases in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.